I would describe pole vaulting as just a rush. You know, it's a couple seconds that you're just up in the air doing something that not a lot of people do. So that's what I love about it. It's just something different that not a lot of people do. Pole vaulting is pretty difficult because it's really repetitive and it's hard to get each stage perfectly every single time. It's more built for a robot because it's over and over the exact same thing and it's hard to repeat that as humans. Whenever I'm standing on the runway, I think about time, timing my plant at the right time and getting my arms up and getting inverted on the pole. I'd say that it's just that mental game, you know. There's so many things that you can think about that can just throw you off and, you know, if you think about one thing too much, you might mess it up or just the technicality of it. It's just so difficult and there's so many things that go into it. Um, when I first started pole vaulting, it was a little, it was a little bit hard just because I'd never done anything like it. I came out of gymnastics and so pole vaulting was a completely different aspect and it was really fun, but it was really hard. And the more you practice at it, the better you get. I started pole vaulting through my family. Uh, my grandpa started uh, whenever he was in high school and stuff. And then my dad and uncle both pole vaulted. And then I just followed right along with my brother. I'd say that all pole vaulters have to be, you know, just confident in themselves because a big part of it is like, it's a mental game really. You know, there's some of the greats aren't the best athletes. They're not the strongest people, but they have a lot of confidence in themselves and they trust what they've done and practiced and they've ended up jumping higher than a lot of like the tallest and strongest athletes.